Ohioans looking to sign up for health insurance through that federal exchange program remain frustrated. Technical problems continue to plague the rollout of the key component of the new health care law. We hear story after story of people being, able, uh, being unable to log on, getting kicked off, insurance companies getting incorrect information. Republicans say the problems beg for a one-year delay in the law. The White House admits these are more than glitches, and it says tech experts are working to fix the problems. Uh, obviously, tests were done, and you know what we learned upon launch is that the problems with the site uh, were uh, greater than we expected and anticipated significantly, and that uh, significant work needed to be done to fix those problems, and that's what's happening. Joe Ingalls, Ohioans are no different. They're trying to register for this. We see posts on Facebook, people having trouble getting on and, and logging onto the site. You know, we're hearing two stories. We're hearing people who say, hey, I just got my health care. I signed up for it. I'm really happy about it. We're hearing people who say they're, you know, complaining that they can't get on it. Um, it's still relatively early. You've got to remember that in order to get the health care uh, in, in place and be able to use it on January 1st, you have until December 15th to sign up. So, and you even have longer to sign up. Uh, it just wouldn't be in place for January 1st. And so we're seeing people who are coming out out and they're looking at it and they're kind of visiting shopping and then they're getting offline they're not signing up at that point um, with things the way they're going trying to upgrade the website and make some changes along the way uh, you know it could be a month from now that's a very different kind of situation this has been a colossal disaster for the Obama administration during the government shutdown which the Democrats attempted to blame on the Republicans a lot of Democrat operatives were saying man aren't we glad this happened because the Republicans would have been hitting us on Obamacare rollout and now that's behind us well this week this past week shows us it was not behind them in fact uh, it's been the number one story in the country. Wouldn't you have liked to have been talking about it for the past month instead of the past two weeks? Well, I'd like to be talking about Obamacare <laughs> every day if we could. <laughs> yeah. uh, and this coming week, uh, Kathleen Sebelius will have to come to Capitol mm -hmm. Hill and answer a question to people who, by the way, this week she said she doesn't work for. Last I checked, she works for all Americans, and the Congress oversees yeah, her budget. You know, this is the best thing that could have happened from my perspective. I know you say it's the worst thing that could have happened, but I think it's the best thing. For who? For the Democrats and people who want Obamacare. You, your party stretched it out and made it Obamacare and no longer made it ACA. I think this disaster will end up with the best system you've ever had. And I'll call it a disaster, and they should be sane. But my thought is, I'm a marketer. If I'm on top of mine and on your lips, I'm okay. So no such thing as bad publicity? No such thing even as in, bad. Even in politics? No, so even in politics. Bad press is good press. Yeah, you yeah. know what? Six months from now, a year from now, nobody will be thinking like it. Just, you know, all these things happen when Social Security started, uh, when Medicaid started, all these things happen. And look at it now. And Americans say, don't take my uh, Mary, uh, 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 Cade away from me, oh, whichever. No, that part's true. Once people mm -hmm. get free stuff, they want to keep getting free stuff. Right. But the party of the ant will eventually get tired of paying for the party of the grasshopper and the old fable of no, the grasshopper and the more. ant. There is, of course, Republicans want to delay the individual mandate push and the mm -hmm. requirement that everybody buy health insurance by another year, like businesses got it. So doesn't this add fuel to that? to extend it another year. What's well, interesting, the uh, Republican position during the shutdown was, we'll pass the entire federal budget if you simply delay the individual mandate a year, and that was called by Democrats a terrible extreme position. This week we saw red state Democrats taking that same terrible extreme position, and by next week's episode of Columbus on the Record, there'll be more Democrats on board, the and then the president will eventually have the to join The past history that. doesn't support that. that. Through the whole shutdown, the Democrats held together, and I think they're going to hold, hold together on this, because I think any stoppage of this program is a political failure. So the Democrats have to move forward. Jackie, there is, you know, there's a lot of talk about this, but really there are a relative few people looking at the population right. as a whole, relatively a few people that are going to use these exchanges because most of us get our insurance through our employer. So these are the right. folks who are self-employed looking for a better deal. Right. And that's, you know, the day that the exchanges came online, they had, you know, what, four or five times the number of people log on, try and log on who are even, they think, eligible 
to buy through the exchanges. And I, you know, my mom said the, the next day, like, maybe if all the journalists stopped trying to log in and see what it looked like, <laughs> hey, then the real, the real people could get on <laughs> and, and, <laughs> right, and, and have a chance. reporters are real people. That's <laughs> the story. Yeah. Right. Right. Blame you know, the media. Looking at this whole situation, though, you're talking about the, um, the ramifications if you don't sign up. I mean, that's a very small amount that right. you have to pay in a fine. $95 so, for the yeah, first year. It goes I mean, up, but it's 95 the first year. A lot of people go out and spend more for a football ticket or, you know, something else um, than they would for the fine for not being in Obamacare or in the Affordable right. Care right. Act, whichever Can word we're using that, for that. Though, two things they need to know. It closes on the 34th, 31st of March. So outside of that, you can't get it again. The second thing is the disc money. Disproportional uh, indigent money is being reduced each year. So now if you're on a motorcycle and you're 22 years old and you don't have any insurance, they take you to the hospital, they stabilize you, and they ship you out the door. It's not like it used to be. It's called the C-cup money or the H-cup money. It doesn't exist anymore. Now, there will be a philosophical problems. What do hospitals do when that money goes away? Well, and your problem is that 22-year-old, then you need to convince him to sign up for insurance, and that's, I, that's a big problem right now. You know, they want young, healthy people to sign up to, to balance out the pool, and if it doesn't work and, and it's buggy, then people don't want to use it. That's why the ads show all these folks getting hurt playing basketball or, you know, <laughs> riding <laughs> motorcycles <laughs> or whatever. <laughs>